Right, dickheads, welcome to the first YouTube tutorial I'm going to do. Uh, this one's on the more difficult questions on completing the square. So if you've seen my TikTok account, uh, you'll have seen the video on this, just basic completing the square. Uh, so this is completing the square form. Whenever we see this, we need to know that we have to complete the square. Uh, so with a standard quadratic, this would be the answer. Now, a follow-up question is often state the turning points of this graph. So the turning points are going to be the opposite sign of this as the x-coordinate and just this as the y-coordinate. So that's a really easy one mark to pick up uh, for a follow-up question. If it says, what are the turning points of this? You just flip the sign on that to get that and then you take that number as the y-coordinate. If there's another fucking follow-up question asking for the line of symmetry of this curve, well, it would just be x equals this. So that will be the line of symmetry. All right. The first thing you need to know is you can only complete the square if it's x squared, not minus x squared, not 2x squared, just x squared. So for this piece of shit, where we've got 2x squared, we have to factorize 2 out of the whole thing. So let's see what that looks like. So we've taken the factor of 2 out of everything. So numerically, it's still 2x squared, 8x and 7 but we've got the one x squared which we needed to be able to do completing the square. So the next step is gonna to be to actually complete the square on this with the two on the outside. So we've got two, then a big bracket, now we'll actually complete the square on this. So that's gonna be x plus half this number, two squared, always a minus at this next step, always minus this number squared, so minus four. I don't give a shit what this sign is, this is always minus this number squared, and then plus the seven over two. Close big brackets. And at this stage, it's good to times that two back in. So we'll get two brackets x plus two squared. Now the two does not go into this bracket because this bracket has a squared on it. So the two just st stays on the outside. Two times minus four is minus eight, and two times seven over two takes it back to the plus seven and then we can tidy up the outside, these two here, to get two x plus two squared, and then minus eight plus seven is minus one. Done. And if we're asked to find the turning point or the line of symmetry, this two does not affect the x value. So the turning point is still gonna be minus two and minus one. And the line of symmetry will still be x equals minus two. All right, let's work through this dickhead. So we've got the three x squared, so we know we can't do it right now. So first thing we can do is take three out of everything. So three on the outside, which will leave us with x squared plus six x minus two thirds. We always prefer fractions to decimals, they're just easier to deal with. So once we've got this, we're looking like we can do a complete in the square. So let's keep the three on the outside with a big bracket and it's gonna be x plus half this number squared, always minus this number squared, minus nine, take away two thirds. Let's times this three back in. So three x plus three squared. So that's always gonna be outside the bracket. We never times it into the bracket. And then three times minus nine is minus 27. And three times minus two thirds takes it back to the minus two. Then we can tidy up the outside. Three x plus three squared minus 29. There we go. So what would the turning point be? Well, that would be minus three minus 29. And the line of symmetry would be x equals minus three. All right, completing the square can sometimes get a little bit tricky if this is an odd number. So let's see what the fuck we gotta do. So we start off the same, bring the x down and half this number. So we always prefer to keep it as a fraction rather than a decimal, and you'll see why in a minute. So plus five over two. So half of five is five divided by two squared. Then we're gonna minus this number squared. Now the reason why we keep it as a fraction is because it's much easier to square a fraction because you just square the top and square the bottom. So 25 over four and then minus two. So the next line we write x plus five over two squared. 
And now we've got to combine these together. So what we can do is uh, the addition or subtraction of fractions. So if we just go down here quickly, we can write minus 25 over four, take away two over one. When we're subtracting fractions, we need to have common denominators. So let's times the two denominators together to get four and then cross multiply like that, which should give us minus 25 over four, minus fucking eight over four. Right, then we've got minus 25 minus eight, which is gonna be minus 33 over four, and that's gonna be on the outside. So final answer, that minus 33 over four. Turning point, well, that's gonna be minus five over two, minus 33 over four. There you go, dickheads.